Hey, what's going on guys? We're coming to you from Randall's Island. Uh, this horse here is a little shy, it wants to come on over and ask us about this beautiful scooter that we're going to be answering questions for you guys about. Hey, Mr. Horse. And Teveron, if you're watching, this guy approves of your scooter, as does everybody. Now, I rode past across that bridge that gave me a thumbs up, smiled, or stopped to ask me. This scooter might not be for you if you are not a social person. Because everybody, and I mean everybody, has a damn question about it. And just when you about to put that helmet down and start riding, here comes another question. But I love it though. I love it. I'm a social person. A little bit on some days after I have my coffee. Anyway, so for you guys who have some questions, um, I know stability is the biggest question with the scooter. Uh, I myself had some questions before I got it. Saw some videos, saw some people fall off of it. Um, the wobbles and all of that. I'm going to honestly say that's going to be user, user, 100% user error. Why? Because I experienced it. So I know what I'm talking about. And what I ended up doing was I was leaning too far back on the scooter. Now, this is a 3,000 watt scooter. So it's going to lift up from the front. So if you're putting your foot on that back foot rest and dropping your weight on it, like dropping it like it's hot, your front tire is going to lift up and it's going to lose traction and then you're going to start wobbling. What I did was lean forward, drop my weight, laid off the accelerator and was good to go. And I did that at 42 miles an hour. And that was the only time I experienced it. And then yesterday I hit 49 miles an hour for a nice long stretch for about a 0.4 of a mile and experience no wobble, no loss of traction, 100% stability. I felt like I, if I was in an eco mode, I could have pushed this well over 50 miles an hour and felt comfortable. Now, these are 11, 11 inch tires. 50 miles an hour comfortable and feeling like you got this is amazing. I don't recommend that, but I just, I got a lot of questions about people, you know, from people. I have the safety gear. A lot of you guys don't have safety gear. I recommend you do. And I did it on an avenue that was completely closed for that entire stretch. So controlled environments are very important. Now to address my cons with this scooter, this light horn combination. Horn is wonderful. I had the same light horn combo on my Kugo G2 Pro. The problem is I never rode my scooter in the rain and only rode it in humidity and there goes some puddles with the right and it he's so adorable it, <laughs> that's funny and um i rode through a humid day before it rained and this the light stopped working and then the horn stopped working like two days later and i took it apart uh, if you go back and look at my video i complain about it um, so yeah, if, if you plan on riding in humidity, rain, I say wrap that thing up in saran wrap, whatever. I'm going to be changing this because the light that this provides just isn't enough for me. I'm going to get about four lights from my bar right here. And I've got two lights coming up from my handlebars because this just is not enough light for how fast the scooter is. I think that's one of the problems that like we're facing as like as we like buy faster scooters in the event where you do need to go fast i'm not saying that's all the time but in the event you're trying to prevent an accident for yourself you want to know both sides of the vehicle in front of you and this light is a spotlight that lands right here now you're gonna overrun that in minutes in seconds like in the blink of an eye like you are gonna look up and look down and you're gonna be past that that's not enough light. I will say one of the one of the pros for the lights would be these lights. They're really bright, really, really bright. They illuminate this whole area here under you. So if you do hit something or you're concerned about something, it does it does kind of got kind of give you like you know you can check your tires and, and make sure you, you know, everything is good or provide light for one of your group ride members or whatever. But here's the con with the lights. That's concerning. That means I have to go into the deck and just check to make sure that the, you know, the, the cabling hasn't like lost its position and, and it's forcing this out. Cause I don't want to be riding and have this fall out. Any hanging wires or whatever on a, like a, on a scooter that goes this fast is just a recipe for disaster. Um, the charging, 
charging on this thing takes about 12 to 14 hours the zero to full um i didn't want to wait that long i bought a 5a 66 point i'll show you guys the charger in another video but um i paid a premium for it it's a smart charger i wanted to balance out the, the, the battery pack in here this is a 28 amp um pack in here just because the scooter had gone through some you know uh, some you know some some issues in shipping i wanted to make sure that the cells were stable and all that so i got a smart charger balance out my scooter um my record right now from 21 percent the full charge is three hours and 28 minutes or so um and i'm not i only did that for the sake of this video i'm gonna be charging my i'm gonna keep keeping the scooter charged between 20 and 80 percent just because that's the optimal range for lithium ion batteries so that it doesn't count as a cycle and it doesn't uh degrade your um the capacity of your battery long term you could get a very cheap second charger on amazon as long as it's 67.2 uh, two amp, but again, all that's gonna do is cut your time down to about seven hours. You're still losing one amp of charging there somehow. I don't know, maybe six hours. If you guys have plugged in a second charger to yours and and like can give me accurate times on the charge times, like let's provide as much information to the community as as we can, because um, I think that's important. Um, I will say no matter what charger you use this is a 60 volt battery your charger is gonna get hot you know it, it's gonna require a charger that has fans do not go cheap on a, on a 5a charger I was shown the difference between a 5a proper smart charger and one of those cheap Amazon ones let me tell you guys they're gonna work for about three months and then you're gonna be at risk of fire because the soldering is cheap and the parts components the rubber the fans start breaking down and you don't know because you're just used to plugging your charger in and letting it do its thing and as long as it's charged by the end you know it's not until you go to unplug that or start a fire that you you realize you got a problem on your hands um another question i've gotten has been these turn signals they do not come standard with every blade um i knew i do know they come in a 23 uh point uh 23.8 amp chinese cell battery pack and i know they come in the 28 amp version i don't know if it comes as part of the tft package um i do know that i've seen pictures of it with it and without i've seen it both on instagram and i've seen it on facebook as well so when you're making your purchase and they send you pictures if you ask for pictures make sure that you see a plastic bag hanging here i know giggity 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 um but that's where these lights would be stored because they can't obviously they can't ship them because if these things hit anything they're going to break and that's one of my concerns i'm probably going to eventually be reinforcing this somehow but yeah how, the reason i knew that i was getting these turn signals is because when i asked for a picture of the bike inside of the uh, of the scooter inside of the um the box i saw the hanging bag here it had its own tea bag pause um, but these lights are amazing I, I i rode at night um and in and i paired those lights i paired these, those lights up with this backpack as you can see four lights at least he's got a helmet at least he's got a helmet on um paired up with these five lights i've got a total of seven active lights and then the two brake lights giving me a total of nine lights so that's just that and then the two brake lights here so a total of 11 lights in the back like and i'm getting a helmet light in the back i'm still examining that i'll keep you guys informed on my choices there we're gonna hold, do a whole like safety gear video because there's a whole lot of people in denial about safety gear but i'm not gonna stand here and preach the, the pros about the the scooter are way too many to get into this video i'm already at 10 10 minutes on this video the scooter is amazing i challenge any scooter company any scooter company in the world to show me a scooter for fifteen hundred dollars that can mess with this because i have put this side by side with wolf kings we pads dual trons fidos surrounds and this beast can keep up and it's fifteen hundred dollars guys plus you know all the other stuff you're gonna add to it but for fifteen hundred dollars 
I again Apollo I, you saw the group ride I edited out the crazy parts of the group ride but just say there gonna be some scooter companies kind of upset at their riders after they see the footage because they got blown out of the water to have a run sunny times uh, I'm telling you, if you are buying a goddamn scooter right now, sorry, part of my friend, I'm just saying, this is the scooter you want. There is nothing better on the market. Even, even my complaint, my biggest complaint with the scooter, seriously, is the front suspension. It's too springy. It's too springy for me. I'm 176 pounds with all my gear on. I carry like another 14 pounds between the helmet, the backpack, the speakers. My tools and all that stuff is another 14 pounds. So I'm gonna say a buck 90 and it's too springy. But even with that, even with that, you go buy a hydraulic spring for the front or you're a lighter rider or you have another, you have another um, replacement spring on the front and you slap that on, you are still rocking and rolling. Like, again, I, I'm, I'm in New York City. Anybody else that wants to prove me wrong, you know where I'm at. Like, come and ride it. I'll ride with you. You know where I'm at. Hit the subscribe button. If you have a question, leave it down below. You know I love you guys. I love this community. There are not a lot of videos out there about this, but I'm giving you guys an honest, honest, honest review. This is not a paid promotion. I bought this with my own damn money. I wanted a scooter that would last me two to three years, and this is it. This is it. Because eventually I'm going to want to do some of the upgrades to this over the course of time but for a scooter that gets me from here until next year and is still compatible and just with 150 bucks from this point i can upgrade a tft screen uh, uh to the hand throttle and nfc i mean come on yeah come on all right guys hit that subscribe button if you guys again have any questions whatever feel free to ask them below be safe ride safe as always, obey local laws. I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of scenery of the waterfront of Manhattan. Reporting here from uh, Randall's Island, New York City.